usual, Doc. I'd like to get this over with as quickly as possible. If you say so. Don't be so glum, Mr. Miles. Today is a historic day. One that will be remembered for years to come. Remembered by some of us, anyway. What's up, ladies and gents? I'm your host, Channel one and welcome to the final part for Assassin's Creed 1 walkthrough memory sequence number seven. It has been an honor to play this for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed, so leave a like, a share, turn your ad block off, and enjoy the video. It's go time. What happened here? Where is everyone? Gone to see the master. Was it the Templars? Did they attack again? They walk the path. What path? What are you talking about? Towards the light. Speak sense. There is only what the master shows us. This is the truth. You've lost your mind. You too will walk the path, or you will perish. So the master commands. It was Al Mualim, wasn't it? What's he done to you? Praise be to the master, for he has led us to the light. So, all we gotta do is actually reach the fortress, and once we're there, we can start what we need to do. <clears throat> However, before we get there, we have to go through the village. Things are a little bit weird. You can obviously see that uh, these people are under some type of control. This is going to be a short video because this memory block sequence is not that long. There's a, a few combat sections, but it's not that tough. And then we will be done. So it's been a great journey, and thank you guys. Hopefully you enjoy the new walkthrough style of me finishing the game before I put it out so you guys know that you'll continually get more and more. That's always been the goal here. Alright, so we've got some more awesome combat. It is unfortunate that we have to kill our own people. Not much to explain during this section. Uh, I'll explain a little bit more once we reach further towards our base. You picked a fine time to arrive. So it seems. Guard yourself well, friend. Al Mualim has betrayed us. Yes. Betrayed his Templar allies as well. How do you know? After we spoke, I returned to the ruins beneath Solomon's temple. Robert had kept a journal, filled its pages with revelations. What I read there broke my heart. But it also opened my eyes. You were right, Altair. All along, our master has used us. We were not meant to save the Holy Land, but deliver it to him. He must be stopped. Be careful, Malik. What he's done to the others, he'll do to us given the chance. You must stay far from him. What would you propose? My blade arm is still strong and my men remain my own. It would be a mistake not to use us. Distract these thralls, then. Assault the fortress from behind. If you can draw their attention away from me, I might reach Al Mualim. I will do as you ask, Dai. The men we face. Their minds are not their own. If you can avoid killing them. Yes. 
Though he has betrayed the tenets of the Creed, it does not mean we must as well. I'll do what I can. It's all I ask. Safety and peace, my friend. Your presence here will deliver us both. Alright, so all the normal fighting is done. I pay my respects to a man that we have grown to love during the course of this game. And we are going to continue on. Now is where the actual real ending kind of comes into play. There is no going back from this point. There are so many innocents. I must be careful not to harm them. to run. <laughs> Never been one to listen, either. I still live because of it. What will I do with you? Let me go. Oh, Altair. I hear the hatred in your voice. Feel its heat. Let you go? Well, that would be unwise. Why are you doing this? I found proof. Proof of what? But nothing is true, and everything is permitted. Now, destroy the betrayer. Send him from this world. So here you're going to fight all of the previous targets that you have taken out. which they are pretty much a one-hit kill every single time. Not too difficult. Easy lemon squeeze. Face me, or are you afraid? I have stood before a thousand men, all of them superior to you, and all of them dead by my hand. I am not afraid. Prove it. What could I possibly fear? Look at the power I command. So for this next section, it is exactly the same as before. You just take out all of the targets. However, you don't have to take them all out, only a certain few. And then it'll automatically go to the next section. Goal foul when all along it was yours as well. I've never been much good at sharing. You won't succeed. Others will find the strength to stand against you. And this is why, so long as men maintain free will, there can be no peace. I killed the last man who spoke as such. Bold words, boy. But just words. Then let me go. I'll put words into action. <laughs> Tell me, Master, why did you not make me like the other assassins? Why allow me to retain my mind? Who you are and what you do are twined too tight together. To rob you of one would have deprived me of the other. 
and those Templars had to die. <sighs> but the truth is, I did try. In my study, when I showed you the treasure. But you are not like the others. You saw through the illusion. Illusion? That's all it's ever done. This Templar treasure, this piece of Eden, this word of God. Do you understand now? Red Sea was never parted. Water never turned to wine. It was not the machinations of Iris that spawned the Trojan War, but this! Illusions! All of them! What you plan is no less an illusion. To force men to follow you against their will. Is it any less real than the phantoms the Saracens and Crusaders follow now? Those craven gods who retreat from this world that men might slaughter one another in their names? They live amongst an illusion already. I'm simply giving them another. One that demands less blood. At least they choose these phantoms. Or do they? Aside from the occasional convert or heretic? It isn't right. Ah, and now logic has left you. In its place, you embrace emotion. I am disappointed. What's to be done, then? You will not follow me, and I cannot compel you. And you refuse to give up this evil scheme. It seems, then, we are at an impasse. No, we are at an end. I will miss you, Altair. You were my very best student. In the final section of actual gameplay, this is pretty easy. All you have to do is find each and every target. And there's just a few places that he's going to be. One is going to be all the way down on the bottom left. So take him out. And then you need to search for the next one. And you can always find out where they are by... I could have kept going that way, I don't know why I didn't. By the glow, you can see the glow of the Apple of Eden. You'll need to do this a few times. Even just a counter move will take him out. And then you just pretty much rinse and repeat, we're not done just yet. But you do want to hurry. You don't want to take too much time. And this is the actual final boss fight right here. Boom, you're done. So it seems. You have won then. Go and claim your prize. You held fire in your hand, old man. It should have been destroyed. Destroy the only thing capable of ending the Crusades and creating true peace? Never. Then I will. We'll see about that. To know madness and folly. I perceive that this also was a chasing after wind. For in much wisdom is much grief. And he that increases knowledge increases sorrow. Destroy it! Destroy it as you said you would. I. I can't. Yes. You can, Altair, but you both.
the hell was that? Well? We've got the map. How many? At least half a dozen. We don't need them all. We should assume some amount of decay. I can't imagine they'll all still be functioning. At least two appear to reside on land masses that no longer exist. We'll dispatch teams to each site and determine viability. We only need one, after all. What about the rest? Collect them. Let's not leave anything to chance. Last thing we need is some damn survivor making trouble for us in the new world. And the assassin? We have what we need. Kill him. Wait. You know how these things work. I doubt we'll be able to walk right in. What's your point? We might need him. His memories. I'd recommend we hold him until we have confirmation that there aren't any surprises waiting for us at the sites. This is a waste of time. You said it yourself. We shouldn't leave anything to chance. Very well. Ensure we have no further need of him, then kill him. Fine. Stop undermining my authority! I just saved your ass. Let's go. We've got a lot of work to do. Don't get too comfortable, Mr. Miles. We'll be back for you soon enough. What the hell is that? All right, well, ladies and gents, that's going to do it. Now you're going to use your eagle vision, because now you actually have the ability to use eagle vision. Kind of think of it as some of the powers that you had in the past, you have learned to use during your time in the Animus. And these are messages obviously left by someone else. Who is that person? Well, of course, we're going to find out in Assassin's Creed 2. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the game. I, you know, completely enjoyed playing this for you guys. And again, it's always an honor to get a chance to play these things for you. To hopefully help someone, even if it's just one person out in a video. Just the fact that I can help someone means so much to me. So again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the walkthrough. Finish up here. And of course, I will see you on the next one. Peace out.